Hey guys, nobody likes reading instructions, so we're going to uh, nut it out for you and show you how this kit works. We've got a few videos, we've got a couple of videos. Um, if you search out YouTube channel 4 Before Diesel, um, Roller Titan, you'll find most of them. Uh, the video we just made, which is putting the, the best one for putting the Titan tray together, we're going to call that the best Roller Titan tray assembly video. And of course, this is going to be uh at the moment the best so far <laughs> lrs 34 installation kit now this is what's left of the installation kit minus the three spaces we installed on the roof rack in the first video and that's the first part where we get to skip the instructions let's just have a quick look at the instructions and that's where i was saying the first thing they want you to do is pull the end off again to install those three spaces and then obviously uh, put it all back together again, right? So it looks like that. But we get to skip that step because you watched the first video, right? And now we're going to tell you the easiest way to get what's left. That's those four low mounts, these four brackets that work with those, these drop and turn bolts, this plastic strip. I don't even think we're going to use it. We're not that precious about it, but they've got that there for those people. We didn't use it on the other car. You certainly don't miss it, you don't need it. And these rubber pads are probably gonna get stuck on that metal depending what location for your bars. But, and we've got eight of these bolts, uh, washers and nuts. We're gonna tell you where they all go once I work it out. Okay. First step is we need to remove, see you got this plastic trim at that end. It's just a matter of lifting up the tab there. That's the locking tab, just gently, and sliding them off. So you can see the back of that tab there, that little hole there. Where my finger is it goes into that hole there so once you lift it up a little bit these just slide off times four the other thing i want to say is we've got six drop what they call drop and turn bolts the six of those that came with the uh tray the titan tray um if I, my calculations are correct without reading all the instructions we're going to use eight of those we're going to use two on one side of this uh, on each one so times eight that's why there's an extra pack that came with a low mount so i'm guess we're going to use six plus two is eight and have t two leftovers whatever which you can use later on for other mounting stuff on the tray as well as handy and these little ones are going to go facing on the other side i believe so we'll get them on show you what that looks like once okay. they're on. as you can see i'm not a good instruction follower uh, follower i'm still on this page here and it appears my assumption was correct we've got all those in there now that's what it looks like right so you've got Two coming through, the flat side's going to go to the Titan tray with these washers, a flat washer first, then a spring washer, always a spring washer and the nut. And we're going to have those two leftovers out of the packet. Don't worry about that. That's cool. So the next step would be uh, we're going to take these over to the flat rack and sit those through using those. These ones were the smaller ones. They're probably the same thread anyway, actually, are they? Yeah, same thread, but different size bolt slightly so we're just gonna because that's how we are we're going to use those ones with the long ones at this side and then the small ones they're going to be the ones that basically will get to that stage but this is what's going to clamp one way that you can use it a couple of different ways we'll get to the best way and it's really fully adjustable you can see how these slide up and down and same thing over this side right so that makes it very adaptable to uh i'll say most vehicles i'm not going to say all vehicles all we care about is it works on Prados, right? Uh, so we're gonna be able to move those up and down. Sorry guys that haven't got Prados, but we specialize in Prados, so it's kind of, we get a bit, that's all we care about. But um, awesome tray here. Let's get it over to the flat, flat tray and see how these bolt up. All right, so here it is. This is the tray, obviously the way the word roller faces, well, you can't see it's at the end of the picture here, but this is the roof side of the tray. This is the sun side. So of course the low mounts go underneath. Uh, let me get it right here. Yeah, obviously these ones, obviously not so obvious, go through there, okay? So what we need to do is just, I'm gonna grab two flat washers. I don't need to show you this do I'm gonna go around there and put two flat washers, two spring washers and two nuts. I'm gonna leave everything loose, so I'll go around and do that. All right, so basically they're really quite adjustable because I've just left those finger tight. So they're locked in position, but remember it all slides, right? So you can 
you know, depending how wide your roof bars are, whether you want to have it, oh, I like mine nice and flush like that, or whether you need to go a bit narrow in there like that, or whether you want to, whatever you need with this low mount kit, right? And then once you've got those wherever you want them, you're obviously going to nip those up. I personally, you know, they've got spring washers, you don't need to, but I put Loctite. And obviously th these, you can see, fully adjustable as well. So now we've just got to show you which way these go on there might be a better step to do as it goes on the car, right? Eh? So all we've done now is repeated the process by four. So you can see all our low mounts, one, two, and of course over here, whatever, three, four, doesn't matter, they all look the same. All we're left with is these four clamp pieces, I'll call them. There's a bit of padding to go so you don't scratch your rails a bit, but once you put it there, it's staying there. And of course, we've only got eight nuts and eight flat and eight spring washers left so we're nearly there let's see which way these go eh instructions yeah okay 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 this is what we do right the last part basically is it's hard to not show you on the vehicle so we'll finish this one off on the vehicle but i'm going to show you how i'm going to sit this and that is so you've got your rubber strip already on this side so the rubber strip for the other side it's actually meant to go on, so look, I don't normally use these strips, so you meant to, after you've, yeah, you got that in the right, so you meant to cut these to length, and you can poke those in, and then the rubber strip, you know, one of these rubber strips sits on that cover there, right where, so let's just pretend your rail's there, so it doesn't, you know, rub through, damage your rail. So you can do that if you like, and I might, but at the moment, just to show you the orientation, so really, I guess, how do you cut those strips to length if you don't know exactly where these are going to be? That's my thought at this point. So I just want to show you sort of how it goes. So we're going to put a flat washer there and then a spring washer and then a nut. Okay. Now my point is when I say if you don't put the plastic, you're not going to miss it. Well, you know, to look at that, it looks fine. You don't need a strip. All it's going to do is hold dirt and dust and crap and trap it all in there. I'd rather have it open so I can wash it out, hit it with the water and the pressure washer and just give it a good flush out every now and then after a dusty trip, you know, rather than have all the dirt sitting in there and you, every time it gets wet it runs out again and all that, right? So I'm kind of like, you know, what's going to happen if the top of that, you know, stick, maybe just stick your rubber directly to that. That's what I'm going to do. That's why it's called r and I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to take the, I'm going to sit all you know, I'm going to put the other flat washer like this, right? And it's just going to be finger tight, right? Let me let me paint a picture for you. I'm going to get this last nut on, and I'll show you what I mean, right? So they're just finger tight. I'm going to back that one off a little bit and watch this. All right, it slides like that. So that's the reason I'm putting it on now. And I want them all to go all the way in like that. And then I'm just going to nip it up by just... See, so then it doesn't slide. We're going to sit the tray on the rails. The rails are going to sit, you know, about here somewhere, something like that square the roof up, make sure we're all happy with the tray, 100% where it's sitting on the roof. And then once we're happy, we bring, I hope this works anyway, we bring this in, right, and the rail's here. And obviously we need to back this off as much as we need to to get it to fit with the rail system, which obviously won't work with every car because it's got to fit in that range, is my understanding at this point. Uh, so, and then obviously you're gonna nip these up and what, look, I'll leave everything loose, even on the other side. It says before this step to tighten them up, but finger tight, right? So once I'm happy, it's going to be, yeah, let's bring them in finger tight, right? Just like that. Well, not quite like that, a little bit more, right? And then, so it doesn't move, or you can just give it a, you know, give it a bit of movement, and, and you can just tweak it, make sure you're happy. Then when you're done, personally, me, I'm going to put a bit of Loctite on all the threads, and I'm just going to nip them up nicely, and butter bing. Basically, that's it. I will say your low mount tray is now complete so that's about it guys the only other improvement from there would be okay once you line it all up and you're happy i'll do this stuff i'll do this first sit it on your roof and then once you're happy and you go okay i need to put rubber there and i'm not happy with it you can either not put the rubber there i'm considering that as well because it is an older vehicle 2008 i'm not too worried if this is rubbing on the paint of the rails, whatever. If it's a new car, maybe it's different. And I, look, to be quite honest, rubber, rubber rubs through, it squashes and it rubs. This could be some super duper special stuff, these strips, I don't know. They may stick like that anyway, they probably will. On the ridges might even help make it stick there better. 
by some miracle I might even okay once we've got it all located it's easy enough to go okay now I need to go I need uh, that long that's 50 mil go and cut it nice and neatly to 50 mil then you can just pop that in because that'll just clip in place it basically just yeah clips in I kind of like try and show you know you could just you know literally see that end it's like it popped in like that already right so they just pop in so I might do that just for the sticky factor right we might have to do that on this one even though as I said I prefer it open I'm certainly not doing it for looks it's more maybe just for that sticky and because this is plastic it may protect the rails better so there you go lucky you hung around because I think that's the best system uh, once you've got it worked out cut it to length right that'll just come off again the thing is you've got to cut that to length north and north and neat I don't know how you're going to do that because this is you know factory machine cutting uh, hacksaw is going to be untidy razor blade to be quite honest, I don't know. We'll have a few goes at that and we'll have to let you know what works best. But that's the deal. Plastic's gonna go there, then the rubber over the top, adjust it all up. And it's as simple as that. Hopefully you, hopefully that's easier for you than reading the instructions. I'll tell you what, I wish I had a video that uh, I explained it to me that good the first time. Anyway, guys, let's see what happens. It could be a thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up if that worked for you. I think that's enough detail. We may continue a little bit more on the video. I'll have a look how long I've waffled on for okay so this is the finishing off video this is the shorter version if you want the longer version the best thing you can do if you want maximum information on these roller titan racks is go on our 4 before diesel channel and check out our playlists playlists are an awesome way to get information because you punch in roller titan i think the the playlist is called roller titan and all the videos we got on this platform and the assembly and all the fitting options are all there. So what we did once we got it all together, we sat it on the roof. We just by feel, put a hand at each side, made sure it was all square. Once we're all happy, we fitted off those plastic trims underneath the, um, I'll show you in a minute. Once we're all 100% happy, tightened up all these nuts and bolts, 13 mils, top and bottom. There's, you know, the ones underneath there as well, under there. One, two. We've also refitted our awning using the roller um, awning brackets. Okay, so there's one there and obviously there's one at the front using two brackets at the moment um, And then over this side we've used we're giving the um, quick fists a go We're going to give the quick fists. I'll show you those from down the other side, but really happy where how this has come up This is absolutely awesome so with the awning same with the awnings It's a matter of where you want it how far forward or back But you can see where we've fitted those trims underneath there and the rubber protection layer there um, it's pretty straightforward from where, how we had it set up. Once you drop it on, you slide these out, obviously, to lock in underneath there. You, you got to choose how long you want these to be, you know. We've got them about 10 mil in from the end of that to the tray. I'll show you the other side in a minute. But we lock our awning nice and close to the vehicle so the weather's not getting through this gap here. If the rain falls straight down, the rain line's sort of over here somewhere a little bit further in. So hopefully it falls into that gutter there and runs off somewhere else, not under where we're camping okay so let's this have a look side, you can see you know about a 10 mil gap that's what we've chosen we cut those strips to i think it was between 75 80 mil long but every vehicle may vary a little bit if you've got a 120 safe to say you could probably cut them at 75 mil this is all adjustable so if these are too long or too short at the end of the day you want the end of it pushing into the back of that metal bracket so that bracket there at the bottom at the back of that it's about another 30 mil past what you can see where my finger is there where it hits the back of where that's folded up here okay and they just fit in all nice and neat beautiful we've put about 10 mil there you can have it further in you can have it protruding further out um, same deal here with the one at the front you can see it's not quite the same as the one at the back but whatever who's comparing one to the other it just doesn't matter now what we've used in this instance for the shovel holder we're trying out those quick fist rubber clamps that were supplied to us from Kaon. Thank you very much, Kaon. We'll see how they go. Um, something different. They're not as solid as the other shovel holders we've used in the past, but in the uh, in the testing so far, so far so good. So there it is, another roller Titan tray. Very straightforward to uh, get together and get on the vehicle. Very solid. The mounting systems are good. I definitely give them the tick of the approval. You can see we've got two vehicles. There's another one over there with another Titan tray. We've just got to fit up some of those little eyelet loops. What I notice on top of the awning bracket is, see it's got that little hook loop hole on the top of it. It's not there for that, but if you don't use that hole as a mounting bracket, you can actually use that for tying down stuff rather than we've got to insert those little 
eyelet things, you know what I mean? So anyway guys, hopefully you found this helpful, getting the Titan tray together or getting it on the vehicle using this mounting system, the LRS 34. If you want more detail, as I said, there's about four videos, I think, minimum in our playlist called Roller Titan on our YouTube channel 4 Before Diesel. But if you like this one and you got enough out of it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. But you want to be subscribed on both channels. Anyway, guys, we're out of here. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. All the best to everyone. We're going to still drop a few videos out there, but um, we'll be taking it easy. It's called Captain Casual. So if you can, wait for your parts till next year. But if you're desperate, you can shoot me a text. I'll casually get to replying to it. I'll casually send you the order and we'll casually send the parts out to you until school goes back. We'll get it done. It's just Captain Casual. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out this Roller Titan platform. Bloody awesome.